have water near? I can give yeah, you yeah, mud water. Oh uh, yeah, it's in the, the um, fridge. The room right next, uh, not the <laughs> the room next door in <laughs> the toilet. There's water. No. <laughs> <laughs> next door to the bathroom, there's a little uh, aqua colored fridge, okay. and there's water in there. Just dip the mug in the toilet <laughs> bowl, <laughs> scoop it out. What do you think you've been drinking this whole time? <laughs> oh, gosh, no. What do you think those little nuggets this of sweetness have been? Ew. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> you think it is Captain Crunch? I mean, come on. <laughs> Oops, all berries. <laughs> All crunch berries. All, all dingleberries. Dingleberry <laughs> crunch. <laughs>
Um, <laughs> he had very soft hands, by the way. <laughs> Did he? Oh, he, he, does. Does, he does have nice hands. Probably, so he's he got probably those, lotioned up just for you. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yeah. Because he's got those, you know, guitarist calluses, so they are. You know. Oh, but you can use those to your advantage. They do. You can. Yeah, they're like, oh, I have an itch. Can you like <laughs> scratch, can you scratch your with itch? your calluses? Right. I don't know. Um, but yeah, so we got to see. Let's name the people who were there. Um, Greg uh, Proops. Greg Proops. Yeah. Amazing. Hilarious. Uh, Joel Murray. Joel Murray, Bill Murray's Bill brother. Bill Murray's brother, <laughs> as we found out, right? As we found out very recently. Who the heck else was there? There was two more guys. I feel bad because I oh, don't geez, remember. Oh, Jesus Christ, Dave Foley. Okay, I was going to save him for last. Oh, uh, okay. you didn't tell me that. I'm sorry. Okay. Dave Foley was there. I, okay, Dave. Cut. So, Cut. so, so <laughs> Ryan Stiles couldn't make it, so uh, his replacement was Dave Foley from oh Kids in gosh. the Hall. Oh, that is awesome. So it was cool. It that, was, is, that is very cool. Yes, so Dave cool. Foley. The Dave oh Foley. Oh, my gosh. Foley. Brilliant. He was awesome. Loved yeah. worked in Bugs Life. Yes. 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 <laughs> oh yeah. He was. He was. Yeah. He was. You could just tell that he's a, a really funny guy. And I have to give props to all of them because the audience was not on their best behavior that no, night. They were not. There was some heckling going on. Really. Yeah, it was pretty bad, and they handled it like a champ. Finally, Greg had to actually like call them out because it got really bad. Wow. Yeah. 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 It was pretty. Uh, <laughs> it's pretty brutal. Greg got pretty brutal. Yeah. It was like, he had it was to like, because it was annoying. And, yeah. It was getting annoying. Yeah. Yeah. It was we were all just like, ah, oh, shut up. Because, like, you know, they asked for audience suggestions. And so this this one dude was like, kept yelling out the same stuff. Yeah. We were saying, grapes, <laughs> grapes, because we're in Sonoma County. So he thought it was funny to say grapes all the time. Like, <gasps> grapes. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> for my yeah. grapes. Yeah. There you go. Really old grapes. So, yeah. yeah. That was funny, though. Excellent funny. improv show. Super fun. Dave um, Foley was so good. Like I didn't. God, he was so you think when it comes to improv, like you would? I was think. I would honestly was thinking Dave Foley is there strictly as the name to get you to come. Because yeah, I've seen, I've seen him do stand up. You know, I've seen Kids in the Hall sketch comedy, right. but I've Kids never seen it. Yes, so. I've never seen him do improv. So. Right. And he was. I mean. That's so cool. He was so good, wow. and yeah. you could just tell there's so much more he could do. Oh my gosh. So much. His. I He's like me. He wants to swear constantly, I think. <laughs> like me, yeah. right? Like I'm sitting here now like bubbling. I just want to you know, <laughs> you know, let it flow. But and that's how he is. You can just tell. Yeah. He, I mean, yeah. But okay. hysterical, totally. though. Really totally. funny guy. I got so. to see them live, dude. I remember. Kids in the Hall. Oh, yeah, me too. Uh, I'm like way back in. 2000, I think it was. Or, so, or 99. You were or in Russia, I think. Was so. I? Okay. Yeah. Was I was it, talking was with it at the Warfield by any mm -hmm. chance? Yes, I might have been there. Yes, I might have been there. You were so young then. I know. I went with mom and dad. Funniest things I've ever seen in my life. Yeah. It was just amazing. I mean, just seeing all of them. And yeah. they did, they did Citizen Kane. <laughs> they did Gavin. It wow. was, yeah. That's Bruce so cool. McCullough. Oh my gosh. So uh, funny. Yeah. I love Kids in the Hall. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Anyway. yeah. yeah. If you haven't seen Kids in the Hall, do yourself a favor. Yeah. Go find Check it. Check them out. Brain Candy, yeah. the oh, show, man. anything. You can get it. They, they yeah. sell them the whole series, everything. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Good times. I'm crushing your head. I'm crushing your head. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no, seriously, I was crushing your head. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so what else is going on with you? So, well, I did Anything have else? kind of a funny story uh, tying okay. back to a recent conversation. So, Caleb brought to our attention this upcoming film called Yesterday that looks incredible. So, uh, we happened to watch the trailer recently, mm -hmm. and um, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But uh, it's about basically a a boy, not a boy, he's a young man, um, to get into an accident of some sort. Uh, something, sort of hard to tell Something from the trailer, happens, he gets like, knocked happens. out, and he wakes up in a world where the Beatles don't exist. And he's the only one who knows their music. He's a musician, yeah. he's yes. like a struggling musician. Struggling. Yeah. yeah, and so he knows all their songs, and so he goes out there and starts <laughs> playing them, and surprise, surprise, gets famous. Everyone's like, yeah, you're brilliant, you know? And so it's this concept of imagine a world where the Beatles don't exist. Right. And so, you know, we watch the trailer, we're like, oh, this looks great. So recently, my husband, who's <laughs> studying music therapy, he was in one of his classes, and he was playing the song yesterday on his acoustic guitar, playing and singing. And one of his classmates had never heard the song before. Really? Never wow. heard yesterday. Yeah. And wow. so I was like, oh my gosh, it's just like that movie. <laughs> like, it's real life. And so I was just thinking, yeah, can you imagine? Like, I've never heard wow. that song before. How old, how old was the person, do you know? Um, I mean, he's a graduate student, so he's probably early 20s. 
Wow. I mean, you're getting to that point, though, where, you know, the yeah. Beatles are... I think he was born... You know? I mean, he's, like, from another country, but, like, that doesn't matter because the Beatles... Right. It, that's, like, a worldwide phenomenon. Yeah. Wow. Especially in Europe, and this guy was European, so you would think... Eh, yeah, I that's... Think so, he's, so he heard yeah. Brent playing and was, and was kind of like... Whoa, man, that's, yeah, it was that's like, amazing. It was what like, is that song? Yeah, it's like, wow, that was really good. Yeah. Did you write that? <laughs> and it's like, hell yeah, I wrote hell that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> With my yeah. callous fingers? Yeah, that's right, <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I just I thought that was funny because we had just watched that trailer wow. and here it's happening in real life. It happened to Brent? It happens, yeah. Wow. Isn't that funny? Oh, that is funny. That's pretty yeah. cool. Mm-hmm. I just can imagine never hearing that song before right. and then yeah. hearing someone play it and you're just kind of like, whoa, what is well, that? Well, I'm trying to remember, like, wh what was the first Beatles song I ever heard? <sighs> Who knows? I can it's remember a thinking that... What's it? Uh, Ringo song. Which one? Octopus's Garden. Is that what it's called? Yeah. Yeah. Or is it I'd like Octopus's to be Garden. Be. Yeah. I, I can't just remember la laughing at it. You know, <laughs> I'd like to. Okay, that'll be five million dollars. Put it in Octopus's <laughs> Garden. I mean, I can remember thinking that was funny oh, as a kid. Oh, that's so cute. Oh. Um, I'm not saying that's the first song I heard, but of theirs. Yeah. But. My parents were hippies, so. I used oh. to walk out. I remember walk. Well, the Beatles was huge, um, yeah. and I would walk out of my room. I remember one time. At night, middle of the night, you know, and they were like passed out on the couch with a doobie. You know, the, the roach left and had burned down all the way, and they're, you know, and the Beatles record. Oh be my gosh. <laughs> it's like number nine, number nine. Yeah, yeah. Just like, all right. Yeah, but like, yeah. At that point, I already gone over, so it was just, okay. like, you know, but I mean, so I. It started going backwards, and it was like. Yeah, exactly. I <laughs> Barry John, or whatever the hell the thing, and you played. Oh, was, the record, Paul. Turn, no, it's turn me on, dead man. <laughs> Strawberry turn feels me on backwards. Dead man. Whatever. Anyway. Yeah. yeah. I grew up on Beatles, so. That's great, yeah. I heard a lot of them. Yeah. So I'm, I'm named for Neil Diamond. So. Really? My parents were too under the influence of marijuana to come up with a name. So whatever record they had on at the time, <laughs> it became my name. So oh my yeah, I was that close to being called Moon I'm Unit. Glad Moon <laughs> Unit. Oh, dang. Like, you know, yeah. I'm gonna say I'm glad it wasn't like Limp Bizkit or something. <laughs> like this is our son Limp Pearl Nutter. That's <laughs> right. Like, yeah. No, that's what my wife calls me. So. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh, I've been taking the drugs. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, I just like so, too close to home. <laughs> Oh, you spit on me again? Okay. Again. I thought I tasted something. Kind of we got to start having like a spit counter. <laughs> this happens so many times. It's so bad. Oh, good um, times. So yeah, Beatles. Well, Neil Diamond, you know. I mean, he's those, cool. Neil Diamond's cool. I got nothing wrong with him. Yeah. I, I like, like Neil Diamond. He I like wrote, Neil Diamond. I mean, he wrote one of the monkeys' best songs. He did. Yeah, he did. You're absolutely 100% yeah, correct. Yeah, Daydream Believer. Yep. Um, I'm, a, I'm a believer. I mean, what's a believing song? <laughs> yeah, and, and, and an American. Neil believes. Yeah, <laughs> he believes. That's Mr. right. Diamond. Yeah. So yeah, I got nothing against Neil Diamond whatsoever. Hard, hardworking guy. They anyway. actually they imitated him. Remember in the improv show, the one guy. They did. That's right. Yeah. That's right. And Greg Proops, shout out to him. Best Elvis Costello <laughs> impression I have ever heard. Like, he nailed it. Wow. I wish we could insert a clip of him doing <laughs> I know, it. Right? I don't know if it exists out there, but, I mean, man. I've got, I've got Neil Diamond on my iPod. Really? Oh, my okay. iPod. So yeah. Like, uh, like 2000. <laughs> yeah. Is it an iPod Zoom? Shuffle? Is yeah. it a Nano? Uh, my Zune. iPod. Dude, I did a Zune commercial back in the day. Oh, wow. Like that did was you like really? Yeah, that was like one of my first like professional gigs. I was cool. in a Zune commercial, but like it never, it never, nothing ever happened with it. The Zune or the commercial? The commercial. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But I was so excited. It's like, oh, it's like a big commercial. No, it's big. And then it's like, I guess it just got scrapped. She's like, I'm set for life. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. And then Apple. I did. Were you paid? I got, I got paid. Okay. Uh, but I also, I also did one for Xbox uh, 360 back when it was called Xenon. That was like the working title, you know. Xbox Didn't Xenon, wow. yeah. So I did commercial for Xenon. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. And then they changed it to 360. And then they changed it to 360. So, so of course they didn't use your So of course, no. Like, <laughs> there, for a while, you could, they used clips of it online. And yeah. But you got paid again. So. I did get paid. And yeah. then you'd rather be seen. That's, your, that's the story of your life. <laughs> you get paid, but no one sees you. It's true. It's true. <laughs> Always on the cutting room floor. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sigh. Speaking of uh, artists, did you guys hear that uh, Sting got kidnapped? No. Yeah, what? He got kidnapped, and the police have no lead. <laughs> <laughs> <Wow>. Oh, my. 
<laughs> Gosh. Freddy beat down commence. I'm so gullible. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, I just. I'm sorry. You know, it, it's actually wow. it's, it's kind of um, like would you call that a dad joke? <laughs> like, yes, like, yes. Yeah, sorry. Uh, like, I'm surprised that we haven't had more of those. <laughs> like, <laughs> uh, well, you I are like, you are dad. I like so. when you smack No, me that's what I'm saying. Like you know, <laughs> he is a dad. I can't stand up right now. <laughs> <laughs> You know, speaking of parenthood, I'm not a parent myself, right. to, to a human anyway. No. But we that did. You know of. We did. <laughs> I would that think I would of. know. Because that's what you always say to a guy. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Right, that you know of. <laughs> I would hope I would know. You had a really big bowel movement a couple of years ago. So. <laughs> Lots of PF Changs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, hello. Okay. Ooh. Ooh. Um, so yeah, we visited puppers today. We visited doggos. Yes. And it was so and? fun. And we're getting a fur baby tomorrow. Hey, congratulations. I'm so excited. You're adopting. Uh, He's this beautiful one and a half year old pit bull. He's gray. He's got a little white paws and a little white belly. His name's <laughs> Grayson. And we're not sure if we're going to keep the name or change it, but he's just he's just a sweetheart. I got a lot of a lot of doggy kisses today. And it's been a long time since I've had a pet. So it's really, cool. ex it's really exciting. Yeah. That's I awesome. I vote change yeah. the name. OK. What to, though? I don't know. I think Grayson's kind of a cool name. As much as I love to have a contest, on the cult show yes. for people to name your dog. <laughs> One person will <laughs> comment. <laughs> uh. I say change it. Okay. Make him your own. I know, but it's like, it's do not, I name him after? It's not yours until you name it. Do we name it after a movie thing, a music? Reference like what should we reference in the name? Yeah, that's a hard one. I need a good name that has a good connotation and is okay. A so anyone to who can think of a name, what do you do? You put it below or do you respond? You yeah, you comment below. Comment below. Mm -hmm. Or if this is a podcast, you're listening to us on podcast. Yeah, or just how about Instagram, it, how about Instagram, yeah, at you know, Cult Show comments, Rocks, right? Yeah. Or go to Kelly's house and knock on her door. Sure. <laughs> she likes that too. Just start like <laughs> calling names and see if he responds. Like, yeah, so come you, here. <laughs> Come here, Caleb. Come here, Caleb. <laughs> That's it. I'm naming him Neil. <laughs> I'm calling him Limp. Oh, there you Come go. Here, Limp Come here, Limp Perlmutter. Come here, Limpy. Come here, Limpy. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Limpy and so small. <laughs> well, anyway, so. Uh, <laughs> you know, I actually thought Pennywise would be kind of cute. That's awesome. Isn't that cute? Okay, yeah. I'm going to tell you my Pennywise. name, and you can't yeah. take it for my next dog. I said, I told my wife, what if I love it, though? you can't do it. Okay. You can't do it. Okay, fine. Mine's would be called Brundlefly. So, <laughs> What's that? you have no clue, of course. <laughs> <laughs> well, at least I'm not going to take it. Jeez, Brundlefly. Brundlefly? No, either. Brundle. Don't get mad. Oh God, I'm dying what, what over is here. It? That's Jeff Goldblum. He was Seth Brundle in uh, The Fly. In The Fly. Yeah, and so oh. it was Brundlefly. It was kind of his thing. So. Anyway, well, I thought it was a great name. Anyone? Anyone? Yeah, I, get I saw back you. Up? I give saw me, okay. Can I get applause? Okay, okay. thank okay. you. Thank I'll you. give it to you. It just roll off the tongue. <laughs> Brundle. Brundle fly. Brundle it's fly. awesome. It is really good, yeah. All right. Brundle fly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> saw that movie on VHS when it came out. Don't think I ever saw it again. <laughs> you saw it on VHS when it came out on VHS, not in the movies. <laughs> Theaters, I mean. Because back then it was like a year later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but yes. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cool. It's a fly. So anyway, um... So... Yes, back to, uh... I don't know, whatever. Okay, so should we... Well, you know, I'm talking about movie references, music references. You yep. know, we're big music fans here, all of us. We are. Here at the Colt Show. Appreciate we good enjoy tunes. Enjoy our music, yeah. And we appreciate good movies. <laughs> and what is better... What, <laughs> is there anything better <laughs> than a good movie paired up with great music? A soundtrack can make or break a great film. That's true. That is very true. Yes. Movie, uh, I mean, I think you could say that the, the right soundtrack will absolutely make a film yeah. uh, a, a and stellar. We've, we've discussed a few here in the, the horror realm, the, yep. the Halloween. Yeah. Suspiria. Suspiria, Suspiria little Goblin. Good. Goblin, Exorcist yeah. 2. Jubilee Bells. Bells. That's our favorite song. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's our, that's so. our thing. So... 
Yeah. So yeah, we like music. Uh, how do you listen to music nowadays? Are you are you a digital guy? Are you a vinyl purist? What's your preferred? But when I'm not format? trying to make my bring my iPod back to life, <laughs> you know, <laughs> I am. Uh, I'm more I'm I'm digital because it's just so easy. Yep. You know what I mean? Like it's the I just, convenience factor. The convenience, yeah. Yeah. yeah it's realized, right there on your phone. Yeah. yeah pop so, it in I, the car. Yeah. I mean, in the mornings when I'm getting ready and it's on my phone and in the yeah. car, exactly. Yeah. So. Yeah. I love vinyl. Unfortunately, I don't have a way to play it. We actually don't have a record player. Right. I don't so. either. But yeah. I know it's cool. And you used to, but yeah. You can take it with you. I mean, take it with you. You can't yeah. take it with you, but it's got that warm <laughs> sound. Yeah. Can you imagine walking around in the street with like a vinyl uh, record player on your shoulder? Oh my gosh, you know, that'd be amazing. Just walking around. Um, but so, Well, what about CDs? Do you still have CDs or did you get no, rid I, of them? I do. Yeah? Yeah. We still, we still I have. I still have some, my cassettes. I have cassettes. Nice, yeah. nice. And my truck still a has tracks? a no. My truck still has a cassette okay. player in it. So, sweet. Unfortunately, all my cassettes are like '80s glam metal. But Ooh, <laughs> hey, no, no hate on that. A, a like, lot of Motley Crue. All right, all right. Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah. Def Leppard and Poison. Yes. And, you know, Skid Row. All awesome that stuff. So. Skid yeah. Row, every, baby. Every now and then, a I white get, snake. Like, a little, it's never a big white snake fan. Ooh. I, oh. <laughs> David Coverdale. David Coverdale, David Coverdale never, come on. Wait. No, I'm, I think it's more about Tony Katane. That's, so. that's true, that's true, yeah. <laughs> you know, I, I knew I didn't have a shot back then. Here I go I again. 12, oh, man, so. it's like the best song. It's so good. I know. Girl okay. on car, man. I mean, Girl on car. <laughs> but, Skid Row was the but, uh, first, uh, first band I ever saw in a concert. Wow. They opened for Aerosmith okay. for the that's pump cool. tour. Okay. Yeah. I was supposed to go to that, but my... Religious parents wouldn't let me go. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> so my first was Poison and Tesla. Ooh, that's oh. a good concert though. At the, at the Cow Palace. Especially well, Tesla. I would yeah. almost be more excited over <laughs> Tesla than Poison. But it was, anyway, it was pretty yeah. sweet. <laughs> Cow Palace is where I went though. That's where they were. Yeah. 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 No, I remember that concert. I, like I said, I was supposed to go. You know. Yeah, it was cool. Back but when concerts cost like twenty dollars. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah, you know, I, I I still get CDs these days. You know, I'm I'm still a subscriber to Columbia House. You know, get my ten CDs for one cent. Yeah. Really? In fact, I'm actually I'm still waiting for an order that I placed back in like 1995. Wait, oh my gosh. Whoa, like who could that be? Do you think it's here? I've been waiting all these years. <gasps> so hi, is there, is there a Kelly Hitman oh, here? Yeah, yeah, and that's me. Oh my goodness, yeah, hi. Just I, come on into our house without even uh, our basement, without even. Yeah, absolutely, yeah. that's yeah. not what I do, that's my thing. That's I, thing. My oh name's Eric, uh, you're Kelly Hitman, the <gasps> that's craziest me. and the laziest. Th exactly. Laziest? Oh my gosh, yeah, how'd you know? My name is Eric, <laughs> I am the one and only surviving Columbia House sales representative, <gasps> and I have your selections here, right? You had uh. some stuff from the finger butts. <laughs> Oh my gosh, like favorite band. Period bands. underwear. <laughs> yes. And the Footloose soundtrack. Oh, yeah. That, that's please. it. That's oh, okay. it. Oh, you know what? Gosh, come on down to so our couch. Magical. All right. Come you on got up. It. Come, come on, on over. Let's talk about it. Just uh, keep on walking. Don't worry about your cord. Columbia House. I'm bringing you <laughs> the best in entertainment. Nice. Very it's good. It's like a Thank little you. Neil Diamond, a little. It does sound Neil Diamond. It's yeah. like, it's like. It gets me stoked about like America. Yeah. 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 I can just. Absolutely. Yeah. So hey, hi. Hey, hey, hello. Hello. Oh, my oh my gosh. Hi. Who the heck is this? My name is hello. Eric. Hello. Yes, we know. You don't usually have strangers <laughs> who walk into our basement <laughs> and you know say hi. So hi, America. Yes. Hello. And maybe Canada. I don't know where the streams to. All over the world. No. This hi is world. Wide. Hi world wide. <laughs> we are world famous in Santa Rosa. <laughs> so. so we are so thrilled to have Eric here today. He is the host of Goth Yearbook Radio Show on KRJF. Good guess. That's yes. right. KRJF. Yes. KRJF. Yes. Ninety two point three FM Santa Rosa. Yes, oh, the, the finger guns. The finger too. guns. Yeah, yeah. I'm contractually it. obligated to do the finger guns when I say the station. Yeah. <laughs> What's going on these days at K? <laughs> <laughs> I, <laughs> I, I don't even know what station I work for anymore, honestly. Yeah, we uh, I, I host a show called Goth Yearbook, Monday evenings, 9 p.m. We host, yes. uh, you know, we play a lot of post-punk, goth, industrial, uh, new wave, you know, Duran cool. Duran oh, yeah. might be on there that's, eventually. That's my thing, yeah. that's my thing. Yeah. Neil Diamond could even be on there if you want he to. Thrown, and that's what I love is that it's such an eclectic mix. And just the mm. name itself, Goth Yearbook, is just so nostalgic to me. Yeah. And really just like, 
brought me back to middle school, and so I was like, I'm on board all the way. So cool. yeah, Thank you, yeah, super excited about this. So nice. Yeah. So uh, thanks for you? being here. Yes. Thanks. Yeah, for thank you guys for having, having me. Thanks for coming nice. down to our basement. Yeah. Yes. Um, uh, very apropos for a like horror cult show <laughs> to be. You get a message from a guy like Neil. It's just like, yes, uh, please meet me down in the basement <laughs> of a old movie theater all day long. He's been like texting me like, you didn't tell me when you're coming, right? Like you turned off the services on your phone. I come down here, Kelly and Caleb are looking at me like, help me. They, they've been here since episode one, I think. <laughs> that was just my shock thing going on. Like, right. That's like a little button. Don't then. Don't Kelly's like, no, no, tell us, what did Barbara Crampton <laughs> say <laughs> next? <laughs> help me. I'm not going to say there's a little Buffalo Bill action going here from time to time, but, uh, you know. I'm getting a little chapped. I can use some of that lotion on the skin. So, I want to hear about how this radio show got started. Like, do you remember the moment that sparked, the, the moment of inspiration? Yeah, actually, yeah. it's funny that you were, uh, thank you for praising the title of the show, because actually, about like three or four years ago, I used Spotify, sorry, artists out there, but I used Spotify, and uh, I created a playlist on there called Goth Yearbook, just like I thought it was, <laughs> to me, I was like, oh, that's like a fun title for a playlist, because it was, I just yeah. wanted to put like, everything because like when you hear goth like that's just that's so uh, vague and so I just yeah. created this playlist I kept creating it over the years of just like all this different music that I, like I grew up on and stuff that I knew people like in the 80s and maybe even the 70s grew up on that did, was yeah you know, I mean everything like I said industrial new wave dark wave all the sort of stuff that kind of touched tapped into like the fringes of music you know what I mean so mm -hmm. I just created this uh, never-ending playlist and got bigger and bigger and I kept thinking like, you know, I wanted to make a radio show eventually where I'd have people on to talk about like the music that they got into. And so my show is actually, mm -hmm. my show is very, in its early stages as well, I'm going, my episode six I think is this next Monday. Mm. And so uh, I have a couple people slated to be on to talk about the music that they listen to and grew up on maybe hopefully you guys one day oh yeah. we'd love to be there yes we're gonna we do an neil all diamond that thing yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah we'll do all pumpkins and then like one neil diamond song yeah. <laughs> but yeah so i i went on as the music director at krjf like uh, about six months ago and because i had an in as being the music director i just told the station manager like hey i have this show and i think people would really like it and so i've been doing it for the last uh, five weeks now that's, That's awesome. cool. Yeah. Can you yeah. listen to it uh, aside from just on air? Is it yeah, like internet ask, or whatever? Like how, yeah. Can you get it on okay, internet? yeah. I, <laughs> how do I find it? So yeah. if you go to my Instagram page, at Goth Yearbook, very easy to remember. Uh, I, every single week, <laughs> yeah. you like that? That's just like the we'll home, have them below here. Well, yeah. home, oh, yeah. there we go. Yeah. I thought it was like a home shopping network. Like, <laughs> and what we have here is the Goth Yearbook <laughs> Jason Coaster. You're gonna love it. It goes great with every outfit. We've already sold 50, so call now. Yeah, okay. They always say like the light, the way the light reflects off it is so incredible. Oh my god, uh, we needed you for the unboxing when we did. I know, this. really. Yeah. 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 Uh, Every lady always says I should be there for the unboxing, right? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so at Goth Yearbook, every week I post links up to the that week's episode. Uh, all the episodes are up on Mixcloud, mixcloud.com slash Goth Yearbook. So yeah, follow me. Yeah. I put every week I put the playlist on Spotify too. So. Cool. It's out there, yeah. That is okay. awesome, yeah. Did people call into your show? Is it that kind of Not thing? Not yet, no. I'm getting that set up, I promise. Oh, okay. yeah. Because I want that, I want the, I love Sonoma County, I love being a Santa Rosa resident. What I love about Santa Rosa is there's a lot of eclectic weirdos out here like myself, so I'm hoping to set up some sort of like, Welcome yeah, to the family. Right? Oh, oh. <laughs> I'm hoping to set up some sort of like hotline people can call into and leave weird messages and things right. like that. I like that. Yeah. I also really enjoyed your uh, request on Instagram for people to submit their yearbook photos. Yes. So I was going to touch on that. That is yeah. also the, one of the big things because got the yearbook. I am trying to, so please, please email me, E-R-I-C at K-R-J-F dot O-R-G, Eric at K-R-J-F dot O-R-G. I'm looking for anyone's uh, yearbook photos or pictures of like, you know, their formative years when they might have been like a goth or a punk or, you know, just like it. that. And I then I it. use those pictures every week as the episode picture. And ah. then I tag the person. Awesome? So, so that way it yeah. gets people involved. And then my hope is that every 20 episodes I'll create like a giant collage of each of those people, like a yearbook mm -hmm. uh, actual photo. And then if the show is around for a couple of years, I'll 
eventually print like an actual uh, yearbook. Oh my gosh. Cool. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 And then that you'll look fun. back on this episode when you'll be looking at your goth year. What was I thinking? Wow. Like I actually <laughs> got out of the basement alive. <laughs> I we'll see what happens. Yeah. You never know. You're like, keep drinking that. Yeah, keep. He keeps like offering me this drink. He's like, no, seriously. <laughs> Pay no attention to the fizzing and or, you know, little uh, skull it's, it's smoke. It's supposed to burn when it goes down. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's like gonorrhea, man. It's all good. Oh, oh, oh. I'm off track. Awesome. We no. are here to talk about no, sound You should, you should play That's some what we do. stuff on, the show, on your radio show. There you go. Maybe I uh, finger gun in the hell out. <laughs> I'm like, whoa, he's just like, left and right. I gotta holster these bad yeah, boys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Freaking OK Corral that shit. Boom, boom. OK, Wyatt Earp, settle down. <laughs> Red Dead Redemption over here. Like, what? OK. Um, That's a video game reference. So, thank yeah, you. Thank you. you. I don't, For you guys out there. I don't even know. I almost did it again, but I just made it just a finger instead <laughs> that time. Okay, yeah. A sophisticated finger butt. That's your finger butt. I just finger butted the audience right there. <laughs> there that's okay. It can be your uh, thing. So yeah. soundtracks, I mean, soundtrack scores, I think they are, I don't think it's, you know, I mean, too much to say that they are the bedrock of most, you know, emotion pictures. They create yes. the atmosphere. They create the mood. They set the yeah. tone, you know, and yeah. oftentimes they're, in some instances, the most celebrated aspect of a film, like one of my absolute favorites, one that... Neil thankfully put on his uh, you know cult Thursday nights one time, which was Purple Rain. Yeah, oh, yes. that's a huge one. Yeah, yeah. we yeah. were talking about it uh, a little bit beforehand, but Neil had passed out a bunch of purple lights in honor of Prince that evening that the audience could use those little clicker ones, and so it's great because like during like unintentionally funny moments or like during the sex scene you would just see people in the crowd oh like a, a wave of people just waving the purple lights like yeah go prince you got this oh, yes. that's right it was yeah. awesome he had, he had just passed away so it was our you know yeah. Was, uh, we'll show, yeah that not only because like there was like the reverence of everyone in the crowd like being there because they love prince and he had just passed away but that whole evening was a testament to like when a soundtrack is great, and yeah. obviously the Purple Rain soundtrack is iconic and amazing, uh, it really gets a crowd moving. I mean, people like we were dancing, like everyone was getting down doing yeah. certain yeah. songs. Like it was, we were having fun, you know. For sure. And that's what's great is that's like cool. a. <clears throat> A great soundtrack can make people actually like move in their seats, or it can fill them with dread. In the case of like horror films, yeah. yeah. What yeah. are some that come to you guys? Well, you know, Purple Rain. I'm real quick to talk about how it, like, probably influential that was as a soundtrack. Mm -hmm. That was mm -hmm. wasn't it like I'm trying to remember now. It was like number one. Uh, I can't remember. I wish I remember this now. It was like a single album mm -hmm. and oh, something so else. It was like three things yeah. all at the same time. That that that. Uh, that sounds about would right. Would have been yeah. like that movie had, single and, or like. It might have been movie like single and album yeah. like all three mm -hmm. things at the same time. Yeah. Which like I can't incredible. like when has that happened before? Like except for maybe Hard Day's Night, you know. Or right. It's exactly. like really, yeah. Help so. or something. Another reason we wanted to have you on the show was not only does he know his stuff when it comes to music, but he's a genre film fan as well. You, yeah, you absolutely. You like your horrors. And I do, yeah. You like what, your what? Is that your favorite <laughs> of the genre? <laughs> Uh, out of all the genres, which one is your favorite? Probably you horror, yeah. especially 80s. Um, okay. That's Good. what I grew up on. Uh, I have an older cousin, on top of my uh, older sister who showed me a lot of movies when I was a kid, I had an older cousin and he was old enough where he could like rent the videos. <laughs> Being dirty over there. <laughs> on top of your sister. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it was going to make you laugh. I knew it. I could, when you I say hear, something. He's like having this nice conversation and you're over like. <laughs> I, I can feel him shaking against me. <laughs> he's trying so hard to hold it in. <laughs> okay, so anyway. Must not say. <laughs> okay. <laughs> So nobody's on top of anyone's sister. Okay. No cousins, no. Cousins, no. Mia, Kissing you are the most vulgar <laughs> person I have ever met. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so, so, so late at night, yes. my cousin and I, yeah. super late at night, <laughs> no, so he was, I had an older cousin who yes. uh, he could like rent some of the videos that like I couldn't. We used to watch like everything. Our favorite movies that we would watch all the time was Popcorn. 
Oh, yes. One of my favorites because I like it was kind of like a little bit of a precursor to Scream, which was like a little bit about like behind the scenes and the whole meta thing. Yeah, yeah, the meta yeah, thing. Yeah. yeah. And then um, <laughs> Nightmare 3, uh, Dream Warriors. Those were like oh, my two. Oh, Dream nice. Warriors was like my absolute favorite film as oh, a kid. Oh, my gosh. Like, Obsessed with it and still am to this day. Did you go around Sweet. doing the whole docking thing the whole time too? Yeah. <laughs> that, I think on the original VHS, the music videos at the end, like after the credits, mm. they, oh, they, no. you could watch oh, the God. music video, which is like one of those ones where they would intersplice like scenes from the films, but then they would use like a really crappy set where the band comes storming in, like, yep. we're coming to I get did. you, Freddy. <laughs> I know. No, I, and I remember, I remember yeah. I, no, they actually got Robert England to film little, oh, was it? little yeah. bits okay. with them, too. I, I remember, remember towards the end, they come in with their guitars and their yeah. giant hair, and they're like all, yeah. with their guitars. <laughs> and then Robert England's like all, oh, no. You know, like, doing that face, you know, Kind of thing, and yeah. I guess uh, like yeah. that's all they had to do this whole time was just get like '80s hair metal yeah. bands to destroy yeah. him. Wow, they never, Nancy never learned. That, <laughs> yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. she needed to hang out with the metal kids at school. Yeah, that's what, yeah. There you go. She was all you need is docking. All you need is docking. That's right. <laughs> Talking, docking. Oh. We're back. You're back. We're back with talking, docking. Yeah. 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 It's gonna be like your eighth hair no. roll. I hope, like, I hope Don talking. Dockin like starts a starts a podcast on that talking, docking. Uh, he's, like, he's out there now. Please, copyright someone. the whole show. 2019. <laughs> well, hey, doesn't uh, is it White Snake or one of them has a winery, right? Up here. I think lots of people have wineries, but <laughs> one, of the, one of the metal guys does. Oh, uh, the uh, guy from Tool has one, Maynard. Oh, James. yeah, he's got. That's yeah. in Arizona, though. Oh, is that in Arizona? Yeah. Bruce Cohen, Cohen, Cohen from uh, from uh, the, the Doobie Brothers. Uh, the BG, no, the uh, Doobie Brothers. Doobie Brothers. Thank you, Doobies. Yeah. But that's not a. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's that's not a metal band, <laughs> though. Winery. Close enough. <laughs> not metal. I don't know. I, I mean, I'm they sure probably do, they yeah, probably do. Yeah. I just, yeah. you know, like, I don't know. There's like literally a plethora yeah. of wineries. Yeah, <laughs> Hefe. <laughs> Would you, you say I have a plethora of wineries? <laughs> oh, yes, like Guapo. You have a plethora. You know what we're talking I'm about. Not, no, 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 What is it? Oh, three amigos. You know, Eric, you know? Three amigos, thank you. Okay. I've never seen it. <laughs> that was well. You've never seen Deadfall, so get away. I can I can feel him shaking over here. <laughs> <laughs> oh never seen Three Amigos. No, I'm sorry. <sighs> we need to start a running list of all the things. Okay, but how many times have you watched <laughs> Forbidden Zone? <laughs> Once. See, I've watched it like twenty thousand times when I should have been watching Three Amigos. Yeah, <laughs> sorry, exactly. Again. Count. There we go. <laughs> Ding. Okay. I'm sorry, I'm back. <laughs> I had a little hissy fit. And we're back. <laughs> I went limp. I know. Speaking of Forbidden Zones, <laughs> hey, Forbidden Zones, that's another good example of a great soundtrack. Ongo Boingo doing the yeah. music. Yeah. Danny Elfman. Yeah. Danny Dan Elfman, man. That guy. Oh my gosh. It's just, like, yeah. So so that's, that's a nice segue. Talented. We've yeah. talked about him I know you guys did during Beetlejuice. Uh, Beetlejuice. Exactly. So, uh, yeah, yeah, but, yeah. but, but I mean, that, come on. Like, I talk about iconic. That is. <laughs> shaking over here. I, I can feel him shaking over here. The ground's shaking. Danny Elfman. Woof. <laughs> All right, next. Damn, Mr. Elfman. <laughs> Thank you, next. Right, uh, That's what she was saying about was Danny Elfman. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> oh, Break man. up with your girlfriend, Danny Elfman. I'm bored. Okay. Uh, yeah. Okay, so do you prefer a soundtrack that is song based? Mm -hmm. Like you know, in like a different individual yeah. artists, or say a score. What is uh... you know that with with horror films, I like a score with like a fun '80s teen comedy, or you know, one of those kinds of things. I like uh, different bands. I, it's always yeah. fun to see uh, where like the music supervisors, like what they decide to get in to like tell the story or help like create like the scene. You know, as compared to. You know, when it's like one guy in the score, he's just kind of creating that atmosphere. They both have their merits, you know? Yes. That's interesting. Yeah, and one of my favorite soundtracks is Pretty in Pink. You yeah, absolutely. Teen, yeah, teen comedies. Psychedelic and... Furs is one of my oh all-time favorite bands. They get a yes. lot of love on that yeah. one. Yeah, They do. That's a good one. Yeah. Pretty in Pink, yeah. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. <laughs> love that I one. Think, uh... John Hughes, I, I'm not sure who his music supervisor was to be honest but whoever it was like they did an incredible job on all yeah. those yeah. movies no they really did yeah. like yeah you think about you know like breakfast club yeah. or um yeah. but i mean yeah he he had i mean uh, if it was him 
awesome. You were you did an yeah. amazing job. Mm -hmm. but, I just mm -hmm. heard uh, the song "If You Leave" on a commercial. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, I won't cry. Thank you, perfect. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so nice. I heard it. I, it's on a commercial now. I don't remember what for. But I heard it, and it maybe just like hit. tissue, like a Kleenex. I won't cry. Oh, okay, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> well, I, I wouldn't need it though. I think it's for tampons. <laughs> <laughs> Put it underwear. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, but I heard that song. Even just hearing like three seconds of it just mm -hmm. like takes me into those John Hughes films. Mm -hmm. Like, ugh. I think that's track Gosh. one on the Pre and Pink yeah. soundtrack. <laughs> mm -hmm. I know. Oh it. my God, <laughs> so good. I like one of my favorite. Uh, Horror ones, actually, though, is Lost Boys. Yes, I could listen yeah. to Lost Boys, oh and gosh. I did listen to Lost Boys over and over and over. A lot okay. of in excess love on that. Never one. Never seen the Lost Boys. Nope. What? Man. Nope. Is she fired after tonight? <laughs> <laughs> this is my last. This will be my last cold show. You never nice. seen. It's a good thing we like yeah, your husband, old. Kelly. Otherwise, <laughs> <laughs> man. <laughs> you uh, you need to change that. I know. <laughs> It's first, like, you need to go watch Three Amigos. Three Amigos. Right. Then you need to go Lost watch Lost Boys. Actually, Lost Boys first. I, as much as I love Cherry Chase and Three Amigos, yeah. Lost Boys to me, that's like one of my favorite that movies. The soundtrack oh. is like... I, Again, I, I was too busy watching for Bin Zone. I, I get that. Crazy like <laughs> Japanese horror stuff that no one's heard of. Right. So, okay, give me so some, the Lost I have Boys, some street cred. The Lost Boys, you've got... <laughs> Echo and the Bunnymen. Doing a Doors cover. Yeah, you've got... Um, what? Yeah. In Excess doing two different songs. Two songs, yeah. Yeah. Oh my See, God. I don't I know what I'm talking about. You do know what you're talking you've about. You've got, uh, got uh, Roger out. Daltrey doing... Roger Daltrey, Daltrey <laughs> doing... Um, the sun, uh, yeah, the sun don't, 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 don't let the sun go down on me. This is freaking awesome. Reed, or, I mean, I'm sorry, Lou Graham. Lou, yep. Uh, Say hello to the yeah. night, Lost Boys. That's all you can do. We can't do anymore. The, my favorite, uh, I don't know about you, but my favorite from the soundtrack is the Echo and the Bunny uh, man Which doing one? the Doors cover. Doors cover, People yeah. Are strange. People are strange. Uh, it opens oh, okay. the movie, and it just sets an incredible mood. Yeah. And I actually, on my most recent episode of Got Theer Book, because the most recent episode we did was all uh, listener uh, submitted songs. So mm. it's people who listen to the show that asked them to submit their music. And one of the songs I described as being worthy of being on the Lost, Lost Boys soundtrack. Like it had that kind of cool. sound to it. Oh. Which like, I think you know what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just like that Got 80s leather, dark sunglasses. Yeah, perfect. Like, <laughs> And the, uh, the, of course, the... Um, Tim, Tim, what's his Tim name? Tim Cap Capello. Cap Cap Capello, Capello, some of that, with the, the like shortlist. That. Yeah. I still song. believe. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> The, the very grease stuff. Yeah, sax yeah. man. Can't that's sax getting man. a little... Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, you, when you, you see the movie, okay. you'll go like, oh, my God, that this, was, like, like, on Mario point. like looking dude greased up, <laughs> oh playing looks like trash what? cans are on fire, yep. playing like a sax <laughs> Doing a oh sax God. solo. Just getting into it. Yeah, I mean, his, <laughs> his <laughs> hips are gyrating yeah. like, you know, I mean... And it was so cool. Being a, like a 13 year old watching in the theater, you're like, oh my God, this guy is so <laughs> like, cool. Okay. I'm getting married actually next summer, and my Aww. fiance Congratulations. <laughs> requested, she's like, if we can track down this guy, we he should have it. No, he still, no, he still what? tours. He it. And he yeah. still looks the same. Really? Kept his hair yeah. long, he's What's in really good shape. It's like they, they Tim Capello or Capello. Oh, okay. Yeah, some of that. Yeah. Okay. Um, no, he still tours. Uh, Lacey, if you're at home, we're getting him. <laughs> yeah. if, you're, if you're at home. <laughs> Amazing way! Oh my gosh! Yeah, no, but he's still. Yeah, he'll. he'll still. Oh, good to know. I, lo good I know. love the Roger Daltrey version of "Don't yes. Let the Sun Go Down on Me." It's so That's good. Wow. It's so good. It's a it's, wonderful '80s version of that. It is, and it's actually it's funny because it doesn't sound like it would be soundtracking a horror film about teenage right. vampires necessarily, but it's incredible. I love that soundtrack. Yeah. Definitely one yeah. of my favorites. Yeah, you'd think it would be more like. Please let the sun go down <laughs> on me. Yeah, it's it's funny. You would think that'd be like a lot like of Sisters of Mercy line. sounding tracks, and it mm -hmm. oddly isn't. It's like a lot of like I don't know how to describe it, like synthy and bluesy rock, but it works. Yes. it works yes. really well. And mm -hmm. I don't know. It was a wh they whoever decided to go that direction with it. Like kudos. They, they, they made an, a, award. an epic '80s yeah. film soundtrack. Because to this day, I still have it on my iPod. <laughs> <laughs> Do you guys have any, but, uh, like, how would I describe it? Like, uh, guilty pleasure soundtracks when it's like multiple song ones, oh, like the multiple gosh. artists. Oh, multiple artist ones. Um, multiple artists. For, for me, it is the Footloose soundtrack, actually. It's <laughs> oh. super cheesy. I recognize that. Okay. Um, the song with, uh, what's her name from Heart? Uh, Nancy? Nancy. No, not Nancy. Ann no, Wilson. Nancy. Ann Wilson. Almost Paradise. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that song it's is so almost cheesy. Almost paradise. We're knocking on heaven's door. Yes. Oh, yes. 
Yes. Yeah. That's a great that song. Great is so good. And so let's good. hear it's for so the good. boys. Like, that is classic. Uh, yeah. Classic. I need pop, a hero. Like, like they're all <laughs> so melodramatic pop songs. And, that, then, like, and then there's Kenny Loggins. Like. And then you say that like it's a bad thing. And then, <laughs> and then there's Kenny Loggins. Yes. <laughs> to top it off. Change my tone. Kenny yeah. Loggins, like yeah. Top Gun. That one. what was yeah. his other? Oh. He had a couple yeah, in there. Yeah, Top um, Gun was Danger Zone. Danger, Danger Zone. Zone. Yeah. Uh, Kenny did. Loggins, I guess he liked to he liked to dance on those soundtracks. How about <laughs> Lindsey Buckingham, Vacation yes. Holiday Road? One of my favorites. I freaking I, love that song. I'm a huge Holiday Lindsay Road. Buckingham what? Holiday Road. <laughs> No? no, not even that one. They no. use that one in a commercial now too. They do ah, for, for I, for, I think for tampons. <laughs> <laughs> whoa! Okay. Whoa! Uh, Holiday flow, it's called. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Give it to him. That was a good one. Oh. Yeah. Okay, thank you. I, I, do, I do love. I do love me some. Lindsay. Lindsay Any, I love Lindsay Buckingham. Yeah. Anything Fleetwood Mac related. Yeah. You know, I love his solo music. Yeah. Exactly you, you've not heard really Holiday Road, the song? No. Oh, unless, I've, unless I've heard it and you've, I didn't I just know. sang it perfectly. Yeah. I couldn't you, have gotten any He better. did actually sing it pretty With perfectly. With the clap and everything. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So. yeah, and Neil knows about the clap. I do. He's got it. He's got it. Very much. His wife does too. It hurts. It looks like cauliflower. Um, the very beginning of Vacation, and Vacation Part 2, the second one. Okay. That's the song, that's the opening theme song. I'm sure if you heard it, you okay. would be like, oh, you, You'd go I, like, oh, you I, must I've have heard it. She's never I've seen Vacation, probably, so <laughs> on Vacation no, too, but so. She just wrote it like Chevy Chase, apparently. I, Gosh. I've never actually, like, watched the whole thing from beginning to end. What? I just, like, literally like, two days seriously, ago, I just started seriously. watching it with my son again, because he, even he it's likes classic. it. Okay. Yeah. It's a classic. The, the end, the last ten minutes is like the crescendo. It's incredible. Again, that last final at Wally World. And right. that, I was too busy watching old musicals. <laughs> uh, kid horror. Kid horror. Yeah. <laughs> like what kid musicals? Horror. That, what's one of your... Oh, gosh. Singing in the Rain, State Fair, uh, Bye Bye Birdie. Bye Bye Birdie. That's a classic. How about the music, man? Music. Any, any Rodgers and Hammerstein's. Yeah. Um, yeah, I just, I was, I grew up on all that. Cause I mm. was very close with my... I am very close to my grandparents, and uh, okay. yeah. Hello right. Dolly, do you watch Hello Dolly? That one I was never as big on. Um, Cinderella with Leslie Ann Warren, <laughs> that was a big one. I see I you guys have the Grease just, like, too. Glazing over. That's, that's one. Yeah. I love Grease too. One of my yeah. Oh, that's like his jam. Oh my, oh my gosh. gosh. He has yeah. a whole episode on it. <laughs> I always heard about Grease too, and I was like, oh, I'm assuming it's terrible. But then I saw it, and I was like, Oh, it's like incredible it because incredible. it's kind of terrible. It's it's an incredible movie. It's like it's, uh, one of my favorites. You asked about the guilty pleasure. Grease too is my guilty pleasure. Awesome. Because I will listen to it. Get yeah, me fairly too. Often. <laughs> me too. Pretty often. And I, I back this other day, I had to. I was doing something in our living room with uh, the TV. Our TV took a poo poo. Yeah, so, yeah. <laughs> During the Oscars, Did it? so I had to hook up another TV really? to it. <laughs> no. it I made the wife do. What are you talking about? That's why she's there. So um, house broken. <laughs> <laughs> <That's> <laughs> like, yeah. No anyway, TV. So go I had outside. To I had to connect a new TV to the sound okay. system, and I like, hmm, what should I play to make sure it works? Grease too. <laughs> <You know? laughs> so my wife comes down, and she, of course, she hears, you oh, know, reproduce. She, <laughs> she hates it. She hates it with a passion. Of so. course, because that's the only way that it makes it even better for yourself is like when you partner. <laughs> <and> I <laughs> get that because there's plenty of things that Lacey, my fiance, that I love that she's like, "Are you serious?" And I'm like, "I am." Yes. This is wow. going to be, you're marrying into this. My love of this awful thing is now your love of this awful thing. Yep. That's, well, that's the thing. Team, it's it's sort of like a little wink wink whenever you find another, what do you want to call it, a Grease 2 lover or whatever. I find my Neil. You know. Where, I found my Neil. <laughs> well, no, just over the years, you know. Yeah. Because, I mean, it, I, I like Michelle Pfeiffer in it. I, you know, yeah, think she's doesn't? incredibly <laughs> attractive in that movie. But I just spit too. Um, <laughs> oh, <sorry. laughs> But as far them. as the songs go, I like the songs from the original better. But anytime yeah. Neil finds yeah. someone that likes Grease too, sort of like, uh, Caleb once was dating a girl. Yeah. Caleb was dating a girl who liked Grease too. Really? And so I was like, you need to marry that girl. <laughs> yeah, That's right. the one. Yeah. That's the one, Caleb. <laughs> so I want to give Caleb a shot yeah. here. What's uh, know, yeah. What's give us one of your favorite. Maximum Overdrive, ACDC, baby. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Yeah. 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 Right. Yeah. He had that one locked in. Yeah. Nice yeah. one. All right. So proof that you can have a good soundtrack. 
but a bad movie. <laughs> yeah. Ah. That's actually, <laughs> what other instances are there of that? I'm no. sure there are tons, but I'm just saying, like, I when we when we were talking about what we're going to talk about, I was like, let's get some ACDC in here. Yeah. And then I went down, like, a whole little maximum overdrive Ooh. trucks the novel or the short story <laughs> rabbit King hole King yeah. 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 He, he directed by it. Stephen yep. King and he later admitted he was like coked out of his mind the entire time and didn't, I, you, didn't know I, what he was doing and <laughs> every single one of his books like you go back and read about it's like oh yeah he wrote a, about being like a crazy alcoholic and he hated his life right then you're like oh <laughs> fun yeah. little entryway to this book yeah, yeah. and yeah. He, he loves ACDC if you read a lot of his books like he'll start right. chapters like referencing like a it'll be like a lyric from ACDC or The Who or The yeah. Set he loved his yeah. well, he a great classic guitarist. rock. He liked classic think, rock for yeah, sure. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. That was yeah. a good one. Well, thank you. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Get you a know, unexpected. Who knew? You know, you got some Who Made Who, yep. some yeah. Back in Black, some Hell's Bells, oh. some Shook Me All Night Long. You know, classics. Just, yeah. 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 I'm hearing a. Uh, do you so, have a? I thought of a little guilty pleasure. Okay. Legend. Oh. <laughs> the original Tangerine Dream yes. soundtrack yeah. actually really good. It is good. Not even a guilty pleasure because Tandra I mean Tom Cruise and loincloth like Tim Curry with the cardboard like horns oh, or you know <laughs> so good. You sure it was made of gummy worm. <laughs> <laughs> might, have been, might have been. Tandra uh, and Dream were on a lot of actually a lot of uh, 80s soundtracks or yes, oh they were for yeah, sure. Then I but the loved legend it. was so yeah. good. So I agree. Good, yeah. I, Personally, don't like Legend. I've watched it. Several I hate that times. movie. I'll be honest. I hate Legend. We're on the okay. same wave <laughs> right now. But it's like, it's so bad that it's good. It's so bad that it's good. No, it's just I can't watch it. I, I can't watch. Yeah, I try. I'm just like, uh huh. What? You know, like, every time. I love Tim Curry. Yeah. It's too, like yeah. I want to wa love it, but I, I just can't. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Tim Curry okay. Uh, in one of also one of the greatest soundtracks of all time, the Rocky Horror Picture Show. Oh yeah. my gosh! How did I not even? Yeah. Up yeah. Up yet? Actually, on one of my recent episodes, probably... I played uh, science fiction double feature. That is my favorite song from that soundtrack, the one that opens okay. up with the lips that sing, because it sounds like a... <laughs> we know it. Like a We've heard it before. Yeah, I know. <laughs> if you watch our episode that dropped today... Oh! <laughs> um, I, I have the lips right, spoiler, spoiler. I have the lips right here. I'm not going to show it, but they're there. Just take my word am I it. like? Uh, am I talking about... Like a tattoo, I mean? Yeah. Am I catching I have, up on I have episode two? Oh, cool. right no, no, yeah, it's yeah. just... We, yeah. we just did a Rocky one? No, not a Rocky one, but that gotcha. song, song, that came song up was at point, yeah. whilst used maneuvering a giant gummy worm, <laughs> a ribbed gummy it worm. Weird. It got it weird. Got weird at the I end. like that. I like how that got weird. It got weird, didn't it? <laughs> <laughs> um, what about some scores? Ooh. Okay, for, you you guys kind of, favorite hereditary. composers. <laughs> you guys kind of touched on Tubular Bells, <laughs> Exorcist, which is sort of scory. Sort of, well, that's a song, technically, yeah. a rock song. Right. But. Well, you know, thinking with a lot of these horror ones that we've brought up, it's interesting how a lot of the horror ones are very simplistic, like we've mentioned mm. you know, before with Halloween. Carpenter. Yeah. Very minimalist stuff it's that, that you do. It's that minimalist, yeah. but it, it works so well for mm -hmm. horror. Carpenter is... I, truly a genius on so many different levels and yeah. set aside like the movies and all that for me his music is so good and yeah it is very minimalist but like he mm -hmm. understood like when to just add like that one extra like synth pad or this or that like a good case in point one of those lesser talked about ones is the fog like if you listen to it a lot of minimalist but then out of nowhere just like a surging organ sound that just fills like the speakers and like you get dread you know you feel that dread and he just he knew how to do that stuff you know mm -hmm. such a genius I could talk literally for hours yeah. just about John Carpenter alone oh. honestly mm. so for me uh, and I've already talked about this once before but we're on the music episode so I'm a big uh, John Harrison fan who did of course, Day of the Dead and Creep mm -hmm. Show. Yes, oh, we yeah. talked about that already. Yeah. I absolutely Creep love the show, scores. Creep Show, your favorite. My favorite, yep, and Day yep. Dead, number two favorite. Oh, that's but right. yep. those to me, those scores are absolutely just phenomenal absolutely, for those yeah. movies. And one of the reasons I love Day of the Dead so much is because of that music right. that yeah. is completely juxtaposed to what's going yeah. on. You that's know, always, in the screen. So. That's one of my favorite uh, tricks of sorts in horror films is when they use something like that. That because it throws you off, it makes mm. you feel very like dissonant. You know, it's right. in mm -hmm. a one, like the one thing, a lot of co like modern horror films, like they all s tend to like dip into the same pool, which is like the oddly placed like piano note and like the er, er, like creaky mm -hmm. violin thing, and you know like even with like the worst 
new movies that are so cliche. It's like sometimes that can still be effective because of that very reason, that dissonant, that, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like it just, it kind of throws you for a loop, which is right. Colin Stenson's uh, score for Hereditary why it works so well is because like especially like that final ten minute scene. Where oh, it's like, that it's song, almost like that a, final song. Yeah, it's oh like almost God. like a it's like a major chord. It's not even like a minor chord. Like it ends almost like on this very positive sounding like oh, holy sounding note. Which the is, swelling strings. Yeah. Just, oh my God. <laughs> like if you like, didn't know what movie you're watching, if you closed your eyes and just like heard that thing, you would think that you're watching a completely different movie, which is so cool. Like such a weird way to yeah, decide to end that movie. Yeah, I never thought about it in that way. That's so interesting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I mean, it could even be like a wedding scene, like is there some yeah. joyous, like, there, yeah, there, yeah. It, it's not a minor chord, it's a, he ends on like a full, like flat out major chord, just like a very yeah. positive sounding thing, but then you see the images on your screen and you're just like, this is the most like messed up <laughs> thing I've ever seen in my life, <laughs> <laughs> which I love. I'm trying to think of other really effective soundtracks or uh, well, music. For uh, me, it would be like Nightmare on Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street, oh, yeah. yeah. That, yeah. Uh, I first who movie. that, yeah. Yeah, the, uh, but the opening, that um, opening from the first movie is so freaking cool. You know, oh, that, the way they that, composed that, it. And oh, yeah. The way that the, the like, yeah, that ding, yeah. ding, 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 and then the, yeah. the title comes down and it's just brrrr. Yeah. One of my favorite soundtracks. Slumber Party Massacre Part oh, Two. Part two. Oh, One of my favorite, nice. favorite eighties mm -hmm. horror films. It's got rockabilly. Yeah. It's got eighties girl band pop, very like go go style. I think the, aren't the cramps on it? Or I don't. You know, I don't remember because I I was thinking they were kind of more like obscure artists, mm -hmm. but it could it could be it certainly could be. They didn't. They never released the soundtrack anywhere, so you can't find it. You have to just watch the movie and enjoy the music. But if you find the soundtrack, you'd be like me. I used to, to actually play the movies and record on my uh, and record maybe on my tape I should player. Just do that, parts of the movies back in, uh, back in the that, day. Yeah, that's what I love about that movie is because it's got it's got the rockabilly and it it's, does, it's got the killer, a, the killer, the driller killer, the driller yeah. killer. It's got the girl band and uh, they oh, they have this great song called Tokyo Convertible that they're listening to in the car and they're like singing along. It's like I wanna be your Tokyo Convertible. I just wanna have fun with you. I just love going through the motions. I just love <laughs> that's right. I, I was so singing it. in the car. Yeah, they're like that, going to the you know. That's movies. my favorite, and they they don't do anymore because no one likes to make weird movies as much anymore. But that was like my favorite thing from like '80s movies was like they would just have all the characters randomly like break out into like either like a dance or a singing thing even though it would be a movie that wasn't musical like Return of the Living Dead like how that <laughs> graveyard scene just randomly turns into like a oh mini concert that they're having or mini dance that she's putting on it's just I love like those kinds of moments how about that oh, theme awesome. yeah that is what I said that was the next thing I was going to say that Return that movie Living has an incredible music going on it does awesome it's got a name the uh the name of that song, the opening theme song. I'm not gonna remember now. The yeah, it's like a chemical name. They called it. Um, what was that thing? Anyone? You guys remember? Zod. Oh, it's yeah, I'm not gonna name? remember now. I'm not gonna be able to pull it. <laughs> oh well, it's got a name, like a chemical. Um, anyway, yeah. Anyone fans of uh, the Less Than Zero soundtrack? Yeah. Yeah. I'm not got the bangles. Mm -hmm. The bangles, Doing of course. That's, oh, that's a great. Shade of That movie. But of course, the Paul Simon, Simon and Garfunkel, Garfunkel song, song, of course, but first. But my youngest brother, he used to have the cassette of that, and I can just remember listening to that. or The whole soundtrack or just the, the whole okay. No, the whole thing. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it had, like, I had to write it all down, but, like, Public Enemy, Bring the Noise on mm -hmm. it. It had uh, Slayer doing Inagata De Vida. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I just a cool, like, sort of eclectic. Yeah, I, I wasn't really a fan of the movie, but. Okay, how about, like, the extremely popular films that we all grew up with that had the John Williams soundtrack? The, the yeah, Star I was just going to say, like, like, I'm like, just waiting for you guys about... to get to John yeah. Williams. Yeah. And... Yeah. You gotta go with Raiders of the Lost Ark. Raiders of the Lost Ark. You know, Star uh, Wars. E.T. E. 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 The E.T. <laughs> yeah. one is personally my favorite John Williams uh, score. Ma ma not my favorite uh, Spielberg movie, but it's my favorite uh, score of his. Mm. That. When he gets up on the bicycle and it swells up again and gets oh. to like that main, you know, coda or whatever, it's oh my goodness! I just want to <laughs> find my red sweater and go bicycle. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> For little, me, it'd be more when he's when, when e. leaving and then when the ship's taking oh, off yeah. and the music playing oh, and then when it finally takes off. 
And you get that dun 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 dun. They want to cry. I saw him do it live you know, at the so. Hollywood Bowl, and, and not a dry oh, eye in the house. I bet. We were all just sobbing. Yeah. You know, everyone's uh, always like, oh, like, that's a touchy Titanic? moment. Yeah, Titanic? <laughs> Celine Dion! <laughs> Pan flutes my, everywhere. My, Pan flute players everywhere. My heart I might will to, go on. I might have to veto that one, Wanda. Another movie <laughs> that I have not seen! Oh, Yay! That's what I'll give you credit for. Yeah, okay, You're thank you. I'm much. redeemed again. My, almost everyone I know in my life loves that movie and they swear up and down by it and I'm, I yep. feel like I'm alone yep. on like a raft in the middle of the ocean. Like, <laughs> you're, you're, on a, you're on a yeah, little yeah. Uh, door that can hold yeah, two people exactly. but yet for some reason can't but hold. But Rose won't let you get yeah, on. Won't let you get on. He, he's <laughs> I'm sorry not to go off track but he like drowns in the most like no one drowns like that. He's just like it's like, you would not drown like that. You'd be like, bah, bah. He'd be yeah. well, I think he's he like, freezes to death. I think though. he falls asleep yeah, or I think freezes to death. Or, falls asleep. Don't know. give him, don't give him an excuse. <laughs> Science, don't, yeah. And, I, and I, don't, I don't want to defend this movie because yeah. I yeah. did not like it. But, you know, I think that's the the idea. Yeah. But, yeah, that, the... But then, then the course, Celine Dion, Dion song, he didn't want yeah. to use. Uh, oh, he didn't want to use it? Mm -hmm. Oh, really? No. He wanted it just to be all, yeah, all... Symphony, symphonic, or wow. orchestral, instrumental, instrumental. You know, um, and they kept saying like, "Oh, we've got this song," and he was like, yeah. "Nope, nope, nope, nope." So they went and recorded it anyway, uh, um, which could have backfired on because I like that song so much. <laughs> <laughs> and then he heard it and he liked it and, uh, I and know used the song. it. So. I can sing the whole thing. Yeah. I Never used to, seen the movie, when I, I was managing the theater when that movie came out, and that movie sold oh. out for like every show for eight months straight or something, mm. and, and I had but, and, the, and the movie would get out, and all I would hear blaring out of that auditorium is that song, oh. and I'd be wait, uh, waiting there to clean it or something, and I mean I was gonna I, I was gonna shoot myself or <laughs> sit on my broomstick or something. Like, <laughs> I just I do not I'm sorry I do not get the love for that film. I got all. I agree, yeah. <laughs> and I look at Celine Dion and I get mad. Yeah, <laughs> when I look at her singing in her face, it just like makes me mad. <laughs> <laughs> no, we love we love Celine though. Oh, do we? <laughs> <laughs> um, another one for me growing up that was very popular and very iconic is the uh, from True Romance. Actually, you know, like that <gasps> oh, the steel God. drums, the yep. ding, 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 which oh again, that's God. one of those ones you hear and you instantly You're know so what. Cool. You're so cool. Yeah, that's yeah, that, yeah. again. I kind of I feel like we keep coming back to this theme, but uh, insanely bloody, violent movie, oh. and the theme to it is like this super like sunshiny, like ding, tropical, ding, like ding, ding, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yep. which they did on purpose. I mean, they did that because they wanted to like showcase like how crazy this action was on screen to like this sweet love story, you know. And I felt I I and know it's divisive circle. amongst cult fans, but I love. True romance. I person. love oh, that film. Great movie. I absolutely yeah. love that film. But it all it's like this full circle thing because at the end, yeah, they're on the beach. Yeah, and so that exactly. Song with really this fits. eye patch. So, yeah. And that yeah, is, yeah, and yeah, I don't want to, you know, keep going back, but exact same thing in Day of the Dead. They used the exact same type of uh, Caribbean style mm. steel drum with the music that they were doing in Day of the Dead. Yeah. Uh, and especially there's like the scene yeah. where they're having a discussion in the caves where the zombies are just a ways away and they're having the, the you're having the, yeah. the talk and there's that great music playing and then you hear the moaning of the zombies yeah. in the background yeah, yeah. and then it goes the end movie ends again where they are on the beach and that music is playing again. Oh, so yeah. very and, similar to what you're just saying with the uh, okay. true yeah. romance. Oh. So I So maybe they still Yeah, I was just gonna say <laughs> <laughs> So basically you shouldn't love that anymore. No, 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 you can love it, you can love it, but, no. you know. I like True Romance, it's fun film, good film. Yeah. film. So. I'm surprised one my, no one's one brought up, uh, movie quotes, actually. sorry. Sorry, no, just What's True Romance, quote? One, of my one of my favorite quotes from True Romance, he says, you're an actor, act mother, yeah. <laughs> yeah. but anytime I'm like going to an audition, and if I'm kind of nervous, I just think, okay, you're an actor, act mother. Like, come on, let's do this. I, that's how I get myself psyched up for auditions. I, that's a good one. Put down a sticky note, like when you're like you wake up yeah. in the morning, like, fucking act. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. That and listen to Eye of the Tiger, and you're good yeah. to go. Yeah, yep, exactly. Yeah. Right. Yeah. yeah. What would you feel? Kind of All right, so this is from, uh, this was a really, really big, 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 huge, successful movie uh, with a big, mm. big, 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 huge, successful movie star. Uh, it was an instrumental. Uh, written by Harold Faltermeyer. I'm not catching <laughs> it. Called Axel F. Oh, of course. Okay. Uh, I'm there you go. What's going on in my head? That's a big one. Yes. That is a big one. And a good one, too. It's You like, guys will, if you heard, yeah. This is going over my head. Yeah, I'm, I'm bam, lost. Bam, 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 bam. 
Axel Foley. Yes. So that the song is, is called Axel F. Axel F. Yeah. Okay. I yeah. never knew that, that was what it's called. Yeah. Oh, that is so yeah. good. That uh, is Beverly Hills Cop. Yeah. Like, and that's something yeah. like I mean, I'll put that on and my kids will yeah. like listen to it uh, too. That goes you know, what you're saying about like, like something that you get you pumped up. Like that song gets me pumped up. Yeah. To it put just, bananas into exhaust pipes. That's true. There you go. <laughs> I can play that on a keyboard. Nice. Yeah, nice. Cool. Yeah. It's not hard as why I can do it. But. <laughs> <laughs> so back to the films. We mentioned maybe films that might be considered bad films that had a good yes, song, and bad we, we, we kind of did it under our breath together. But what I don't we call it a bad film so much, but although it is considered so bad that it's good, would be Flash Gordon. Yes. Oh yeah. yeah. Of course, that awesome. <laughs> that awesome Queen. That. Oh my goodness. So. I will put that on sometimes when I hit like the freeway, and I don't even drive <laughs> a fast car. I drive a truck, but I'm just like, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Going, this is happening like, yeah. right now. No, I, I used to. Oh man, I used to. I had that tape, oh, and I would play oh, it on my yeah. little my little tape player, you know. And I'd be, sit there, and my dad mm. like had a, oh. actually had a truck, a flatbed. Yeah. And I would just get in the flatbed and like jump all over it, and <laughs> with, you know, queen, you know, flash oh. You know, oh. I'd be jumping around, that and acting like a complete idiot. But yeah, that song used to get me going. That know. song is so good. Mm -hmm. Oh, hey, Free Willy, Michael Jackson. Michael Jackson. Which yeah. one was that? It was. Oh my goodness. I still remember, I don't, I, when they televised his funeral, who, I forget who it was, but who was the girl from Dream Girls? Who was from American Idol? Jennifer. Jennifer Hudson. She was singing that song, and there was like this group of like people like doing like they were all holding hands and they were circling here and they were doing this while she's singing in oh, the middle no. of them, and it was so <laughs> awkward. <laughs> it was like, why is going on? And the people who are doing it were just like, ah, ah, ah. <laughs> so they've been like, you know, <laughs> let the sun yeah. shine. Yeah. 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 Hey, sun great shine. soundtrack! Yeah, great, great soundtrack. soundtrack! Oh my god, hair! Hair? Yeah. Hair. Hello. Whoa. Hello. Hello. I love hair. I love you hair. You love hair. <laughs> Give you me a head hair. of hair. Long, beautiful <laughs> me hair. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> you can have some of mine. I need it. Uh, can I borrow some of your hair? <laughs> Michael, you got any songs you like? Are you still awake? Uh huh. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Nothing? No? Best little sore house in Texas. <laughs> hey, hey, well, yeah, yeah, he's pulling you his go. Burt Reynolds out. Yeah. <laughs> and his dolly. Nice, man. Nice. Good job. Good job, the Rev. I know. The Reverend always, he never uh, he, oh, yeah. ceases always to uh, us. surprise mm -hmm. us, you know? Nice. <laughs> Back to the Future. Oh, yeah. that, I nice. was thinking about that when I was driving here tonight. I almost forgot. Power dun, of Love. Dun, dun, Power of Love. Yeah. 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 Al Alan Silvestri score and Huey Lewis in the news. And Perfect. The, the score. Yeah, the score. Dun, 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 dun. Yep, it's yeah. awesome. Right? The score is awesome. Yeah, about it's perfect. It's like song. one of those. Yeah. 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 But then you've got the power of love. Yeah, yeah and, power you know, of love, like, so good. Like, I Such a good. I, I still remember yes. the first time I heard that, that song. That skit yeah. on SNL when they're in the elevator and uh, Michael J. Fox is there, like, "Hey, aren't you that guy from Back to the Future?" Isn't it Kevin Nealon's? He's like, "Go back in time." He's singing the song. No, <laughs> I don't remember okay, that. Yeah. That's great. Anyway. I'll have to watch that. It's well, great. Yeah. You know, and then you even have the cameo. Sorry, Hugh Lewis fellas. Did. Yep. <laughs> Hugh Lewis I'm afraid mm -hmm. you're just too darn loud. Oh, yes. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, yep. Goonies. We're seeing yeah. opera Goonies, Goonies, and then also yeah. like a fun, uh, very like, you know, childlike wonder sort of score happening throughout that one. Nothing iconic, though, like the no, I mean, jumbling it's... stuff. But yeah. Yeah, yeah. Oh, that's right. Yeah, that's good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> Have you ever seen Goonies? <laughs> yes, I've okay. seen Goonies. Thank you. Yes. Just okay. checking. Thank you. There's one. Thanks for checking in on me. Um, <laughs> Stand by Me. Stand classic. by Me is a great soundtrack. Mm -hmm. like, it's an 80s film of songs from the 50s. Yeah, the 50s. 80s, so, yeah. 80s does 50s. Yeah, mm -hmm. good one, Wanda. Stand by Me. All right, so yeah. uh, we covered everything. 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 A little yeah. bit of everything. You kind of yeah. Yeah. <laughs> about everything there. So. I love how cohesive we were, right? <laughs> right. So we were track. so cohesive. Very cohesive. Yeah, It'll, we'll edit it so, all together to be. <laughs> <laughs> very long story short. Y'all need to listen to Goth Yearbook. Goth Yearbook, uh, Mondays okay. at 9 o'clock, uh, 9 p.m., KRJF, 92.3 FM Santa Rosa. Yes. Awesome. Yes. Thank okay. you guys so much for having me on, at Goth Yearbook on Instagram. Cool. Yeah. Did you hear that Sting got kidnapped? No, I didn't. <laughs> <laughs>
Do the police have any leads? <laughs> <laughs> Stuart Copeland would say he was, but you know. <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> that was the note we end on. I truly was tortured tonight. <laughs> uh, good times. Um, Caleb. Yes. Happy birthday, man. Oh, thank you. Happy birthday. Thank you, thank you. As much as you don't want to celebrate, we well, celebrate it's you. It's not that I don't want to. It's just, you know, you get to a certain age and it's like, what are you going to do? Uh, yeah, I don't know. Just die, I guess. Grow a hair out of your ears. I'm working <laughs> on it. I'm working on it. Oh, uh, we all are. <laughs> vodka. <sighs> yeah, lots of vodka. So, uh, okay, we want to thank, of course, Eric. Yeah, thank you so thank much. You guys. Thank, you, thank guys. you guys for having me on. It was fun. It was a hoot. Yeah. It was a hoot and a nanny? A little bit of both. No, say, no not say. both. No. <laughs> that, is that too far? That's like crossing the authorities. That's, that's we can't both. Because <laughs> we have worse problems to deal with. We Sting was just kidnapped. I mean, like, <laughs> right. this is, still please, no like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sending out an SOS to the world. Nice. <laughs> that was know, good. Uh, yeah. Quick, yeah. go find Gordon. We gotta find Gordon. <laughs> that's his Flash real name. Gordon? That's his real name. Flash. That's his real name. Steen's real uh, name, yeah. yeah. Gordon. Gordon something. Yeah. Gordon Sumner. I guess that doesn't Gordon Lightfoot. roll off the <laughs> tongue as bang, bang, nice bang, as Sting. Bang, bang, bang. Yeah, yeah. Gordon. <laughs> it's fake news. <laughs> He's not really kidnapped. <laughs> Remember when someone like, you know, calling 911? Yeah, yeah. Oh. What? I was concerned. We're getting trouble. <laughs> Kelly, do you know who the police are? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we saw them once, didn't we? We did. We saw them that was in a concert great once. show. That was awesome. Yeah, it was a long time ago. Yeah. It took us like eight hours to get out of the parking lot, but it did. But we did it. Worth it. Worth it. Anyway, Wanda, thank you very much as always for not making us shiny. <laughs> and then Michael and Kenneth as always, thank you. Thank you, yes, thank you for coming for here. For being here, just for your support. Because we are filmed in front of a live studio audience. We are. We so. are. And Freddie. And Freddie, thank you for always. being my cuddle buddy. And don't forget, we have a podcast version of the show. So if yes. you want to take us on the road in the car, uh, then you can find us on iTunes and Stitcher and Spotify oh, and Google Music Play and everywhere. whatever the heck else has I, yeah. um, iPods. What do you call them? <laughs> <laughs> Leonard down on the corner, he's blasting this on his uh, boombox right That's now. Right. Just go stand next to him. That's right. 12 D batteries. <laughs> That's, all That's, right. That's all you need. And then, of course, the cult film series, Thursday nights, where we are live watching movies and discussing. And, you know, there's another format where you can view us now on your television. What? 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 So TV. We, yes. So we actually filmed an episode of the show Creature Features, which is filmed here locally in Sonoma yeah. County. And so we're going to be on an episode. What? We had an awesome time visiting them. Yeah. So we got to What be channel on set. is this thing on? It's coffee, coffee TV, K-O-F-Y. And, and YouTube. And YouTube. So Creature yeah, features. It, it's um, probably already aired by the time you're seeing this. So go look it up on YouTube. Yeah. Creature Features featuring, Creature Features featuring the cult show. The cult show. We had a blast. It was a lot of fun. We watched this crazy old sci-fi movie and. Remember what it's called? Yes. You can say it now. because we're. It's called okay. Idaho Transfer. It was directed by Peter Fonda. Oh, wow. The Peter Fonda? The, the Peter Fonda. Peter Fonda. His Not brother Peter the other Peter Fonda. Guy, <laughs> Actually, yeah. I think he would have the Peter Fonda. Oh, okay, yeah. So, Make sure you like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Like and subscribe. Comment There's always that down too. below yes. and all that. Check out our Instagram at The Cult Show Rocks. And you can even, you know what? We have a, oh. ow, I bit my lip. <laughs> oh. <laughs> we have a Blood, live, sweat and tears. live studio <laughs> audience, so you can email us, info at thecultshow.com, so that if you want to, uh, uh, you know, figure out how you can be in our studio audience as well. Because uh, Michael likes it when you sit on his lap. Nice. You get the full sensory experience. You get to see us. You get to smell us. You get the smell of vision. You get spit on. You get spit, spit on. You might, you might yeah. get to physically have contact with us. You might. <laughs> but, and, by, and by physical contact, I mean my spit is going to fly and hit you in the face. She so. means she might look at you. <laughs> she <laughs> might. I might. I might. But you may not look back. Do not look at the talent. Do not talk to the talent. Do not. (laughs) (laughs) You must look talent the whole time. It's like me with Steve Carell. All right. Thank you. Uh, Bye, guys. Thank you. Goodbye.
Run the fly. Okay. Okay. <laughs> <laughs>